Hello everyone and welcome to my data mining tutorial. In this tutorial I will be covering uh, ways to explore data and then I will be explaining how some of the data mining or machine learning algorithms work. This is my name, um, Nouradin Sadawi. Currently I work at Brunel University in London, the United Kingdom. You will find a link to my personal web page uh, in the comments area underneath this video. Before I begin, I'd like to mention here that the material in uh, uh, in these videos in this series belongs to Professor Said 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 from the University of Toronto, Canada. Uh, I have spoken to him. I have his permission to use his material uh, to produce these videos. What I've done is uh, I've taken the material from this website and then I've just put it on onto these slides. Now the structure of the course as I mentioned will be like this. We'll try to learn how we can explore data so we'll just do some data analysis and then after that we'll try to use techniques or at least explain how some of the techniques which are used for making predictions or predicting the future We'll try to explain how the how they actually work. So we'll try to cover univariate analysis, bivariate analysis, and then we'll try to cover for the modeling or the, for the machine learning part or for you know the part where we do the actual data mining. I'll try to explain how classification, regression, clustering, and association rules work. Now, taken from the website is this part here for exploring data. So here we have exploration we'll do univariate analysis and bivariate analysis for univariate analysis we'll be covering categorical variables, numer numerical vari variables and then we'll learn how to convert between them, transform between them encoding and binning, one in this direction the other one is in the opposite direction and then we'll try to learn techniques and ways and methods of how to analyze such variables likewise for the bivariate analysis we'll learn how to uh, analyze or compare uh, two variables, so univariate variables is concerned with dealing with variables one by one for the bivariate we're, we're here we're dealing with two variables so we'll cover um, and by the way here we'll also have in the univariate analysis we'll also learn the types of variables as I mentioned categorical and numerical and here for bivariate when we deal with two variables at the same time then we'll learn how to do it for categorical and categorical numerical and numerical, nu categorical and numerical. Likewise, for the modeling part, we'll learn how classification, regression, clustering and association rules work. I hope you can see this. For classification, for example, some techniques are based on frequency table, some others are based on covariance matrix, some others are based on similarity functions and some others. Likewise, for regression, <coughs> I will learn how these techniques work. In this tutorial we won't be going too, uh, into uh, too much theory but rather we'll learn how these techniques and al algorithms work. We'll get the intuition behind them, behind them and learn how they actually work. Moving on, again the material, just remember, uh, just a, a quick reminder, it belongs to Professor Said Sayed from University of Toronto, Canada and it can be found at these two websites and I have his permission to use his work. Now, what is data mining? Data mining, if you notice, it's actually two words. Data mining. So what is data? Well, data is, you know, basically I've used, for example, Cambridge Dictionary here. Cambridge Dictionary, online dictionary. Inform it's, uh, data is information, especially facts or numbers, collected to be examined and considered, you know, and used to help decision making. So we have some information that's collected uh, or facts or numbers and we use them to help us in this help us in decision making we usually have it in an e electronic form that can be stored and used by a computer now the data mining is analyzing that data so it's the analysis of data for finding relationships that have not been previously discovered yes so we analyze the data and try to find relationships which we, which we didn't know before how do we do this analysis we have different techniques and methods and we will learn about uh, at least 
how some of them actually work now um, <clears throat> just an example of a data or what we call a data set what I have here is um, what you can what you see in front of you now is the well-known iris data set I mean you can uh, you can just use the internet use Google and look up iris data set and then you can find it for at UCI machine learning repository and you can find information about that data set you can find a lot of information about this data set uh, characteristics number of instances i.e. number of records what area and so on and so forth you can find the source and some more information about data sets and then information about the attributes so this data set has five attributes sepal length in centimeters sepal width petal length and petal width and then a class we have three classes iris setosa iris versicola and iris virginica you notice here these are the column names or the attribute names or the field names so these usually these column names or the column the columns themselves they have different names or various names in our context in the context of data mining or machine learning people call them uh, attributes or descriptors or features or characteristics but they all have the same name I hope you can guess whenever you hear something different you can guess that it actually it means the columns and now these are known as records or instances yes these are known as records or instances so this data set so this is called a data set and it has 150 uh, records or 150 instances as we've seen from the website yes so this is a CSV file comma separated value file and the values as you can see are separated by commas you can open this file for example using uh, Microsoft Office Excel or any equivalent tool I use LibreOffice and as you can see here I can open the iris data sets where is open recent and then we can go to iris data set and I can open it uh, it doesn't like it because it thinks that um, it thinks that it's a TSV a tab separated vi file rather than CSV so what I need to do is I just need to tell it that it's actually a CSV a comma separated file and it should be able to recognize it and open it nicely so again these are known as records the lines are known as records or instances each of them is an instance and the columns are known as features descriptors attributes or characteristics and this is known as the class the fifth one is the class and here we have three types of classes by the way it has 150 instances 50 of them are of class iris Cetosa. the other 50 are iris versicola and the third 50 of them the th uh, are iris virginica I hope this makes sense just to show you what a data set looks like and what we mean by data so again how do we do the analysis well we use machine learning techniques and algorithms the goal is to do classification where we need to guess a certain class so for example for, for this data set uh, we can have these values the four column values and then we try to guess the fifth column which is the class so we can l keep training or keep looking or keep extracting information from existing data and then we try to use unknown uh, for, we try to use data for unknown classes to guess their class and estimate their class this is a classification regression is the same thing but we try to guess a real value rather than a class we do association where we try to find relationships between attributes we do clustering where we try to find groups of instances where some instances can be grouped together and then we do sequence analysis where, where, where we can find when some one event can lead to another event now I'm going to stop here in the next video I will start going back to the previous slides I will start speaking about exploration and start the series for data exploration or exploring the data covering univariate and bivariate analyses thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you next time